Hey everyone, my name is Yaakov. I am a second year medical student. I'm here with John, soon to be Dr. John, hey. who is a fourth year medical student. Today I'm gonna to be uh, tagging along with him, shadowing him on his emergency medicine rotation. We're gonna be on the blue team. On the ED, we'll be the bad boys in blue, so maybe we'll save some lives and get Yaakov off the bench in the game. Yep, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to learn a thing or two. And a little bit about John. John is not only almost a doctor, he is also really, really smart, really built, and he's in the army. Uh, comment down below if you think um, it's unfair how amazing he is. Just eat your oatmeal. Just eat your damn oatmeal. <laughs> All right, so we've arrived at hospital center and ready for a fun shift. So we got a supplies here. We got a patient with a laceration on the arm. And so we're gonna go in there. We're gonna suture a deep layer and a superficial layer. And uh, first we're gonna irrigate him because it's an open dirty wound. Um, and then we'll put him on antibiotics once he's all closed up. And then we should be good to go. So we're in here grabbing our supplies to suture with. We're gonna grab some chucks. You always grab extra because there's nothing more embarrassing than going ready to do your job and then you don't have the supplies that you need. So always get extra. I have to admit, this is easily one of the most exciting days of my journey towards becoming a doctor. Getting to suture a patient for the first time was definitely the realest experience in medicine that I've had. Um, and I just can't get over the, the feeling. I didn't do much, I didn't contribute too much, but nonetheless, it just feels so cool. I feel like I'm gonna remember this day forever. Unfortunately, the patient's knife wound was the result of a suicide attempt. Um, so we're going to be getting him the psychiatric care that he needs now that um, we've sewed up the wound. So we ended up putting in, how many sutures have it? Uh, 18. 18 sutures. I got to do two of them and those were actually my first sutures ever on a real human being. So thanks to this guy, I got that opportunity. Yeah, they're better than mine. No. <laughs> I doubt that, I doubt that. And then what, and what do we do first before I put the sutures in? Because it was an open wound? Right, so you have to irrigate with saline. Lots yeah. and lots and lots of saline. Because yeah. infection is one of the biggest concerns um, with an open wound. So yeah. You also did that, also irrigated. Oh yeah, I got to irrigate a little bit. Sprayed them out. Spray the little high pressure wash. wash. High pressure wash. Okay, so next up we're gonna be seeing a patient with abdominal pain who has a history of colon cancer. So what are some things we're concerned about? Yeah, so she's an older lady and things that we wanna rule out most. Um, first of all, you think about perforation, um, you think about uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm, uh, bowel ischemia. Um, from there we think about just where the cancer is spread. So also obstruction is one of those things that we have to rule out. So probably gonna order a CT scan, get some blood work, rehydrate her uh, if, if need be. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, so we just saw the patient. Unfortunately, she is in a lot of pain. Um, so we ordered blood work. We're gonna fluid resuscitate her. Just like we expected, we're gonna get that CT scan. Um, we are talking about in older folk with abdominal pain, your threshold for scanning that is really low. Because right. There's a lot of pathologies that you worry about. Things right. Things can go wrong. Okay, so we're several hours in. Uh, we're just gonna get some lunch. Yeah. Cafeteria? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. All right, so up next, we're going to see a patient who came in with heart failure and potentially acute renal failure. It's leading to confusion um, and an altered mental status overall. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what his kidneys are looking like. All right, so we just got back from watching one of the first years work with one of the ultrasound fellows. 
Through an ultrasound of our patient's kidneys, um, he was pretty encephalopathic. Was that your first time seeing him? So Definitely. Yeah, I've never seen someone with uh, encephalopathy. All right, so that's a wrap to our ER shift. Um, it was an amazing shift. We saw everything from heart failure to kidney failure to a possible stroke. We sewed up an incision. And that's one of the many reasons that I love emergency medicine. You really see everything. I learned a lot and I am super grateful to John, my amazing fourth year roommate, for giving me the opportunity to shadow him today. He's an amazing teacher and he's gonna be an amazing doctor. If any of you out there have any questions, comments, or concerns, Leave it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply. Until next time, bye-bye. My highlight was actually the grilled salmon. <laughs> it was actually really good. I see. Yeah. Mine was the mashed um, sweet potatoes. Oh yeah? It beats saving lives. It beats saving lives. I mean, yeah. grilled fish, mashed potatoes. It's not, not something you get Really, really hard to beat. You yeah. can get it from just any old cafeteria. Yeah, glad, glad we're on the same page.